The ISO 900, as we have it here, is actually a combination device. It brings together the world of cataract surgery and of corneal refractive surgery in one device, providing biometry from the cornea to the retina, topography of the cornea front and back, and imaging in one device, all based on swept source OCT. For the cataract and the anterior surgery, we have very specific offerings. First of all, both are very be delighted with the automatization of the device. So the measurement process can be easily delegated. And then we have for the cataract application, the full biometry set with reflective keratometry, as this still is the gold standard. This is complemented with anterior, posterior topography and simulated keratometry and uh, uh, additional information on the eye status like chord mu, chord alpha, lens tilt. All this allows the surgeon to thoroughly plan the operation and provide convenience and also the selection of the implant is correct. For the anterior segment surgeon, we have topography out of 12 mm based on OCT. And this is for the corner front, corner back. We also feature additional screening aids for corneal ectasia. And with this, he can make sure everything is known prior to the operation and everything is right. The good thing about the ISR is, as it's a combination device and providing not only standard biometry, that you see slight changes in the eye and you can actually depict and uh, document unusual conditions and also talk through this with your patient. Let's say somebody comes with a very unusual astigmatic eye and they read in the internet all about the new advanced technology IOLs. They say, I want to have this multifocal toric IOL, but now with the ISR, because you have the biometry and the topography of the corner front and back, you can then talk through it and also show the patient based on the cernic analysis and the vision simulation what they may expect from an implant showing that's your vision with just a standard implant and that's for example what you would get with a toric implant at night and you can even go there and then show what's the advantage at day. So get the expectation level of the patient right is the real advantage for the cataract surgeon and then that also helps to promote his own practice. As I said earlier, one of the big steps is it's easy to delegate. So the whole device doesn't have any joystick. So everybody who can run a laptop can run this device. It's touchscreen based and the measurement on both eyes typically takes just below 40 seconds. So having this at hand in the welcoming area makes it easy to gather all the information before the surgeon sees the patient and helps him up also to speed in the decision process and in the counseling of the patient. Standard biometry still goes from axial length, anterior chamber depth, keratometry, and length thickness. Now, with the iStar, you have, in addition, information on the entire corner, and it's a real topographer. It complies with the topography standard, and in addition to just having measurement, you also get information on the eye configuration. You have a full 2D cut on the anterior chamber from the corner to and including the crystalline lens, so we know if the lens would show unusual lens tilt, or if we have large decentration, and this is also documented based on the Hort values which are available in the device.